today we're going to talk about what to look for in a compound bow if you're buying it used. These are just some tips and tricks. There are several different places that you can purchase compound bows from, but basically if you're at a pawn shop or an archery shop buying anything used, here's what to look for. And Red has been in archery for many, many, many decades and is an absolutely perfect person to ask for uh, this, this kind of advice. So go right ahead, Red. Okay, when you go to a pawn shop and you look at a, a used bow, the first place you want to look is in the yoke. Because if that bow has been dry fired, it will be split and it's useless. Absolutely useless. Next you want to see if it has the teardrop, a string holder. You need to look at the edge of the cable right there and make sure it's not stretched away and exposing cable because that means it might be weak and it may not last too long. Then look at the string. If you see fuzzies all over it, inspect it real close. It might just be old and the wax is wore off of it. Re-wax it down. Always keep your strings waxed anyway. It makes them last a whole lot longer. Uh, and basically just overall look at the cams. If they're plastic, make sure they're not cracked or busted. If they're metal, make sure they're not bent. And you always look at the back side of the bow and make sure everything is in line. And if you look from the string through the sight window and place that string in the middle where it's supposed to be, you can tell if it's got a warped limb or something. So you need to really check that to make sure the limbs are in good shape and not split. Very good. And another important thing that I found out since I'm a very tall archer here <clears throat> is I shoot a 30 inch draw length and also draw length is very important because many draw lengths have what's called modules in the bottom which are replaceable. My particular bow is a Martin bow, very similar to this one, just a, just a newer version. And it has uh, from 27 to 31 inch draw length modules inside it. So basically what we uh, want to look for there is measure your draw length and any archery shop can do that. Is that right, Red? Right. Okay. And know what your wingspan is, know what your archery, what your draw length is. And uh, so when you pull it back, you're going to be comfortable enough. And uh, you don't want to dry fire any bow under any circumstances. But pulling a bow back and just seeing if it's a comfortable fit for you and letting it back down, especially with the, uh, you know, and seeing how the cams and everything like that operates also something that I wanted to recommend as well. Anything else? Well, an easy way to tell your draw length if you don't have access to a pro shop, take a yardstick, put it between your fingers as if it was an arrow, hold your hand out with your thumb up, put your forefinger right on your lip, and measure to the front for the longest number there on the front side of the bow, that's your draw length. Whatever that measures to, that's your draw length. Very good. So that's an easy way to, to figure that out. And you want to see also if it's going to be a comfortable fit for you. You're going to really enjoy owning this. Are you going to get it for bow fishing or are you going to get it for bow hunting? And uh, you know what the purpose is going to be of that bow too. Is that right? Absolutely. Very Absolutely. Good. Very good. You need to get a, a, a decent bow and it don't have to uh, cost you no thousand dollars exactly. you can buy a bow like this is a browning it's an older wooden riser bow you can normally find these bows for around 50 bucks and it will take just as many animals as this bow right here would which, which this mark. bow run about eight hundred dollars when it was new mm -hmm. this bow was probably about a hundred and twenty dollars it'll take just as many animals and the shooter thing. is what matters. Very good. And what I was going to also say is I have a Martin bow similar to this one. And basically with the Martin bow that I have, I purchased it, the arrow, the cases. I had a guy that was selling it on Craigslist that was completely getting out of uh, bow hunting together. I bought all of his stuff from him and uh, for under for $200, out the door for everything. And that was an incredible deal. I got all of his broadheads, arrows. So when you can find a deal like that, definitely look for it for sure. 
Absolutely. Great. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for joining me, Red. It's been a you pleasure. Bet. You bet. I Look enjoyed at, it. We're here at um, Hill Country Bow Hunters, uh, which is in Central Texas, and uh, we're here on a beautiful, beautiful March day. Hardly any wind. We're getting ready to go out and uh, shoot the 3D course, so we're excited to be here, and thank you so much for tuning in and visiting with, with us today.